A female chow chow, which is approximately one year old, was brought to the clinic as the owner discovered a large lump on her left front paw. This is not a what? What? How long are you? Actually, I don't know. I need notice okay. it has like so... for a while. But... This video is an educational video to show the treatment of the lump on the chow chow's paw. It's not very painful, so the possible diagnosis is this could be a skin tumour, although the dog is quite young, and skin tumour. The tumour is a lump with cancerous cells. It could be benign or mal malignant. Cancerous cells in a benign tumour do not spread, while those in a malignant tumour can spread to the other body parts, resulting in life-threatening cancers. Which could be a granuloma, leak granuloma. A leak granuloma is an open sore that forms due to constant leaking. This could be formed when a foreign body penetrates the paw of the dog and is enveloped by the skin, forming a lump. As the dog leaks at the lump, hair comes off and the lump becomes... And so, now the, what's the solution? The solution, there are two solutions. One solution is I inject antibiotic and steroid into this lump, which could be a granuloma, leak granuloma, and then after that, bandage it up and uh, in some cases, after two weeks, the whole lump disappeared. There's one solution. The other solution is just to cut it off and send to the lab to check whether it's a tumour or not. Because uh, the skin tumours is quite common in dogs. Huh? So without sending to the lab, we don't know whether it's a tumour or not. Whether it's a malignant tumour or not. <coughs> Because if it's a malignant tumour, obviously the whole toe has to be cut off. Huh? Otherwise it will spread, is it? So the best is of course surgery, excises lump by electro excision and then send to the lab to check the histology and then uh, if the lab says nothing then it's not a malignant and then the, the, the wound is healed and then everything is okay. Uh, that, that is the approach, uh, two approaches in other words. So I leave it to the owner. Well, I don't want to go like so far like immediately do surgery. Uh. I haven't tried testing. Like with the steroid or antibiotic. To treat the lump, the dog was given oral antibiotics and an anti-inflammatory injection to reduce inflammation and eliminate bacteria. Before the injection, the dog was sedated and her paw was shaved. She was sedated with Domitol and Ketamine IV. So we will give a steroid plus antibiotic injection. Uh, normally I give 12, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 o'clock. Huh? About uh, 2 millimeter in. Uh. Okay, so start with 6 into the lesion. Then inject a bit in. Okay, now great. This one with gentle mycin actually. Okay, so, so 9. Inject into the core. Yeah into the core about uh, 0 0.2 like that and then 12 <coughs> 12 o'clock uh, sometimes you can see it popping out actually but okay and then uh, 3 o'clock so quite systematic Then, okay, and then uh, on top, in, into the center, center there. Not here, not here, here, probably the hole is there. Is there a hole? Okay, inject in. Okay, so we covered the whole lesion already. After the injection, she was given antecedent IM as an antidote to the sedatives. Her paw is then bandaged and an e-collar is put on to prevent her from further licking her paw. The dog is to come for a follow-up after 14 days to ensure that the lump has shrunk. If the lump has not shrunk, it would most probably be a tumour and surgery is recommended to remove it. This is to reduce probability of cancer cells spreading if the lump is a malignant tumour.